Okay, guys, y'all bought all the Apple Watch bands in like five minutes. I appreciate y'all's support. That should have more Friday or so. But we just got the water jet pumped out, all the garnet. So it gets completely full of garnet. So what that means is that sand right there goes through the line, comes out the nozzle with that high pressure water, and that's what does the cutting. And this tank gets full of garnet sand. It's nuts. But let me show you something. Check this out. The cutting head, and it's probably 14 inches from this support. This is where your table sits, and then your parts sit up on top of that, and it cuts through it. Look at the, these are gashes going down the side of this thing. It's just crazy. This is why water jetting, you know, costs so much and is such a pain is because it eats itself. It literally eats itself alive. Everything, it eats the nozzle, it eats the orifice, it eats the carbide mixing tube, it eats the table. Uh, water jets, quacky quacky. So this is the heart of the beast. This is what builds up the 60,000 PSI of pressure and that carries the garnet through and um, pretty awesome. So what we have here is basically a big hydraulic pump. You don't have any issues down here at all. Hydraulics works great, big motor. Now, this is a chiller. You have to cool the hydraulics. So we have a three ton air conditioner that runs glycol through the lines and cools this block, which in turn cools the hydraulic. There's a big tank in the back of this thing. And this is an intensifier pump. So 20 to one compression behind a ceramic cylinder. Um, the, the hydraulics are slamming that cylinder over and it's creating um, 60,000 PSI. It's going into this tank and that's an accumulator tank. It just holds that pressure. And um, so you do have some seals in here you have to change. Not a big deal at all. Four bolts that comes out super clean and easy. Um, air conditioner, no maintenance at all. So really, you know, the issues of water jets are inside the machine where it's just destroying itself the mechanical side is awesome um, i have yet to have a line break or anything we're at about 500 hours and the pump you really only service at about 500 hours i had to do it at about 300 um, on one side but uh, i think i got a video up on that from a while back but yeah man uh it's not too bad it's just a messy high maintenance job but it does some awesome stuff so these are just uh, some some blanks and some of these will stack on top of each other if it's the same part um, depending on what it is and I mean it can cut up to you know seven inches of steel if you want um, but this is titanium and this is the main bulk of what we cut our key fob links and things like that that go inside a key bar all right guys also I didn't make any video guys from laser marking technologies they flew all the way down from Michigan to upgrade these machines today um, they were here yesterday and today but every time I was around them we had our heads in the machine and I was asking all kind of questions we got a couple new buttons on the machine that uh, we're gonna start playing with here pretty soon unleash some of these capabilities of these things that I didn't even know they could do um, we made a couple improvements to our table so we can utilize all the systems and Everything integrates perfectly, so the lasers are going to be dialed. I'm going to spend the next couple of days getting them um, all tweaked. you got to realign everything now that we've moved the stuff. So i got to realign everything, and we're going to do that. And really excited about the extra little buttons we got on our screen now. So stay tuned for that. appreciate you guys for flying down. Laser Marking Technologies, go check them out. They do some really cool stuff. Really cool stuff coming. Mail call from Key Bar. Woohoo! Got me a deep carry and those magnets. Got a couple of those quick key tabs.